Well, well, well. <laughs> We're talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 today, huh? I'm gonna kick the accent, but Red Dead Redemption 2 is hands down one of the best games I've ever played. Like, my favorite games being Last of Us 1, Red Dead Redemption 2, and like, Doodle Jump. No, probably like Breath of the Wild or something like that. Every aspect of the base game of Red Dead 2 was made with a labor of love that collectively forms a god-tier game. Especially just the emphasis on detail in the game, like to a ridiculous degree. You can watch an NPC eat an entire meal realistically. Why is that a thing? It's amazing. Now, this video isn't going to be a breakdown of what made Red Dead 2's base game amazing. There's been a million videos made on it. I even found my favorite YouTuber through his video on Red Dead Redemption 2, Naked Jakey. I'm a cowboy named Arthur Morgan. I thought I was the CEO of Apple, aka Bill Gates. If you haven't played the Red Dead Redemption 2 single player, do yourself a favor. Set aside like a week worth of time. Get like 20 Kid Cuisines meals because you don't want to have to worry about food. Pour yourself some hot chocolate, sit down, put like four or five pillows behind your head. Take it slow and enjoy the ride. Now I probably spent close to 80 hours in Red Dead 1's single player campaign. I enjoyed it so damn much I wanted to live in that era. If there wasn't all the death, tuberculosis, and lumbago going around. So after I finished the game and experienced it for what it was worth, I naturally moved on to the online game mode to join my friends it cowboying it up in New Hanover. Oh! <laughs> witnesses. Oh! Oh! I like your style. I like your moves. When online first started, things looked extremely promising. You're put into some story missions that turn into a chain storyline, and you and your friends can make a ton of money completing the missions, killing a bunch of bandits, and overall completing a pretty satisfying story. But it's only nine missions long. So after we completed the story, I took my money and went to the gunsmith and bought two guns and spent all of my money. Oof. Naturally, I needed to get more. There was a ton of stuff I needed to buy. So thinking the game behaved a lot like Red Dead 1's online, I was just gonna go kill some gang members in a gang hideout and grab some cash. You know, the fun way. Eventually I found a gang hideout, I killed like 30 people, including their leader, and I started looting and I quickly realized these guys have like seven cents on them. That's like pennies at a time. So after looting all of them, I had $3.12. <laughs> and then my freaking stable charged me for the day, and now I have a dollar sixty-two. It's like a dollar an hour. You end up kind of finding out the hard way, the way to make the most amount of money in Red Dead Online isn't through killing bad guys. It was mainly through hunting and fishing, <laughs> which, Fortunately, Red Dead is not at all a bad hunting game. It's actually a really oh fun hunting game, in my opinion. Holy sh! But unfortunately, they still have ridiculously long skinning animations. Around that time, I began noticing a pretty critical issue. The main source of credit in this game wasn't earned through the most fun part of the game, being a gunslinging outlaw. And once we got enough money to buy more equipment, guns, outfits, ammo, you started to think like, what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> Go kill lawmen endlessly? Go try to find a gang hideout and lose money doing it? There was basically nothing to do, and people quickly realized it and started to bail out of Red Dead Online very quickly. So, it's been three years since Red Dead Online's official release. I've stopped in here and there to check out updates and sit in Valentine watching people destroy the town. But recently, I got fully involved playing again to do a deep dive into the current state of Red Dead Online. I literally went in with the mindset of, is it possible to have fun in Red Dead Redemption Online? And let me answer that question right away. Hell yes. <laughs> You can have a ton of fun in this game for a longish period of time. However, even with the content that they've added over the years, huge problems still remain and the game is still far away from its true potential. Let's start off at the source of what's ruining this game. The economy. The economy in Red Dead Online has been an ongoing issue since the beginning. You know how I could tell right away that their system was still absolutely f***ed? 
They just added their fourth currency into the game. That's right, they have cash, gold, roll tokens, and their newest currency, Capitale. You don't even need to worry about these two because you don't even really need to save them and they barely affect anything. Now cash and gold, this is what every gunslinging cowboy is after. Here's what's frustrating about this money. First of all, still, bodies only have seven to 15 cents on them. Please, for the love of God, Rockstar, add more money on bodies. Gross economy. Benefits everybody. Hurts nobody. Next, the cost of items and payments in the game is absolutely whack. You can murder someone in broad daylight in the center of town and get a bounty for killing that person in cold blood. It takes more than a mask to give me the shivers. How much does that bounty cost? 10 cents. That's two nickels. Maybe that's a lot for somebody's life back in the day. But hang on, you can buy a can of beans for 60 cents. What? That's six people's lives worth of beans you're eating there, bub. Damn it, this joke isn't gonna make any sense. <laughs> Item prices range from literal pennies to thousands of dollars. And the issue mainly lies in the confusion around why items cost what they cost. 60 rounds of ammo, 40 cents. Okay, that makes sense. A new decent gun, $125. That's steep, but it's not terrible. How about a new ammo pouch to put your bullets in? That'll be $2,000. Are you out of your f***ing mind? Here's a new jacket for $30. Here's another one for $300. Here's a horse for $100. Here's a slightly better horse for $1,000. There's just like no consistency. And let's talk about gold bars for a second. Gold bars are the microtransactions of Red Dead Online. You can buy gold bars with real money to shortcut purchasing items, clothes, guns, and such. You can buy 25 gold bars for $10 and 55 gold bars for 20. And if you spend more than that, you're a cuck. Now you can earn gold bars naturally by playing Red Dot Online, but you get them fractions at a time, like possibly in the hundreds. 0.1 gold bars is the typical reward for a 20 minute long basic mission. I mean, they're taking a cheese grater to these gold bars. Here's what's frustrating. You need gold bars to get access to the main content in Red Dead Online, like Rolls and the Moonshiner storyline. Not to jump ahead, but think of Rolls as a job for your character, like a bounty hunter. How much did that cost? Well, probably free, because it's a job, and there's nothing really else to do in the game. Wow, you're a really smart guy. Thank you. Well, according to Rockstar, you're a stupid f***ing idiot. Hey, because most rolls in Red Dead Online cost 15 full gold bars. Now, this might get a little math heavy, and I f***ing hate math, but trust me, there's a lot of good points to be made. Let's say you get 0.1 gold bars per 15 minute mission. Maybe it's a random event, you clear a gang hideout, whatever it is. Let's say you do four of those in an hour, and round up, you got 0.5 gold bars per hour. So in order to get 15 gold bars, you would have to spend 30 in-game hours viciously grinding to get you the cost of one basic roll. Yay! Now there used to be effective ways to get gold through things called daily challenges. This involved getting online every day and completing simple challenges like picking a certain flower, skinning a certain animal, helping a stranger out, earning bits of gold through honest work. And that multiplied up to 0.5 gold bars depending on how long your daily streak was going. So gold kind of stopped being a prevalent issue amongst players that actually put in the time. But then, in typical malicious rockstar fashion, they saw their dedicated Red Dead Online fan base actually enjoying their game. And they had to put an end to that. They nerfed the reward system for daily challenges into oblivion, cutting the reward value in half and sticking a reset timer on your daily streak up to 28 days. So after 28 days, you get reset down to the lowest amount of gold you can earn. Very well played, Rockstar. That's what your gamers wanted. That's what they deserve. Now let's actually get into the new content of what Red Dead Online has to offer. The biggest content update that they added was the roles update. Adding roles basically added jobs you can perform for much more money than selling salmon a hundred times. The roles are trader, collector, and bounty hunter. Let me ask this right off the bat. Which one actually sounds fun? Each role you have 20 levels to level up through, and I'll go ahead and break down each role. Bounty hunter the fun one. Now this is the role that I think most Red Dead players are waiting for. Getting money for being a badass gunslinger. It's simple. You grab a wanted poster, find your target, bring them in dead or alive, warm or cold. I can bring you in warm. 
Or I can bring you in cold. This is the kind of gameplay we're looking for, but here's a problem with it. If you complete the mission nice and quick, let's say 10 minutes, enjoy your reward of $7.50 and .08 gold bar shreds. You might be thinking, wait, I thought you said you make more money with these rolls. You do, but something that's really fucked up with these rolls and other time-based missions is you would think you get paid more for completing missions cleaner and faster. Wrong. <laughs> you get paid the longer you take, capping out at around 30 minutes per mission. What? So let's say you do a legendary bounty hunter mission. It's basically a special bounty that's a little bit more complex than the typical bounty mission. Based on how long you take, your reward can go from $60 to $250 just by waiting next to the sheriff's office for an additional 26 minutes. The logic for getting punished for doing a better job just doesn't make any sense to me. So... To be clear, you are not promoting me because I do such a great job. Nowhere does Rockstar say your goal is to complete this mission as slowly as possible. So many missions have reward systems that just are not explained well. Tell us the rules of the game so we know what to aim for to do well at the game and earn the highest reward. Next we have the trader, hunting and waiting. The trader role is basically enhanced hunting. The trader role allows you to donate animal parts to your camp and Crips will start producing goods that you can sell on a delivery mission for a good amount of money. The more parts you donate, the longer Crips can produce. He really likes full corpses. Try to give him legendary animals if you can. What the hell was that noise? Mudrunner buck. It's that thing right there. And it starts getting pretty complex when you figure out every animal is worth something different in donation points. I mean, there's literally spreadsheets for this stuff. Crips will stop production once you have the max amount of goods to deliver. All right, here we go. The adventure begins. <laughs> Shit on my fing You'll deliver those goods and make a good chunk of money depending on the size and the length of your, de uh, of your delivery. <laughs> and let's get this straight. Across the board, delivery missions suck dick. Grab something over here, haul it on a slow-ass wagon all the way over here. Maybe kill two NPCs that are trying to stop you, and the rest of the time is just looking at the countryside and listening to your wagon wheels roll across the dirt for 15 plus minutes. Side note, and this is kind of a controversial hot take, <laughs> but I personally think that they should not have added the new Austin side of the map. It's a massive empty wasteland that's basically just used as a drop off point for long range deliveries. Oh, all the way out there. The Collector, exploring and Googling. The Collector is far and away the most profitable role in Red Dead Online. However, it is at the expense for being the most boring role somebody could possibly think of. Here's an overwhelming number of objects to collect in the world spread out across hundreds of miles. While doing it, you will come across little to no threats. Go collect them by using the Jean Ropke map on Reddit. And once you have a set, sell them to this lady for an absurd amount of money. And that is pretty much the entire role. I've seen people make literally tens of thousands of dollars doing this online, which used to be unheard of. So basically you can rig the game and make a lot of money. You just have to do it in the most boring way possible. That's a total grind. Now there is a couple more roles and you're not gonna believe this. They're more expensive. They're 25 gold bars each. The naturalist lady, Herbert or Har Harpy, Harriet, she can get you high and turn you into a deer. Me. And last but least, the prestigious bounty hunter license you can get now. Could you not think of anything else to add in the game? It's 15 more gold bars, there's 10 more levels, you have things called infamous bounties, which are cool, except for the fact that they're like weirdly hidden in the wanted posters, and the outfits that are added for the bounty hunter were like if you were to get the anime weeb kid in high school to design them. Oh yeah, more belts and buckles and collars and spikes. Who was wearing this with pride? I just feel like this roll update was a total cop out. Like you couldn't think of anything more attractive. I came up with one while writing this video. The Lawman Roll. In free roam, make all the gang hideouts visible once you purchase a Lawman license. And it should be f***ing free. Let's say there's 12 hideouts around the map. Each hideout has a clue to some main killer that you're hunting for. You clear out the hideout and you get a reward of $50 and a clue towards the killer that you're trying to find. Collect all 12 clues across gang hideouts and you unlock a mission to go take down the legendary killer for a reward of somewhere around $500 and three full hey, gold bars. You don't need to do this. You can only do these big payout missions after you've found all 12 clues, but along the way you're earning good money and it's fun. 
And if you wanted to go the extra mile, you could have like three to five variations of who the killer is, that legendary mission. Boom, fun, engaging content that honestly you would barely have to make any adjustments to to get it to work. And it would hook players like me that are constantly falling out of the game, it would hook me right back in. There's also things called blood money missions in Red Dead Online. This is where the pointless Capitale currency comes in. <sighs> Look, I wrote something for this section, but it's just, it's so boring and it's pointless. Just don't do blood money missions. And you rinse and repeat, like nobody's doing this. Why would you do that? That covers the majority of Red Dead's content that they added. And that might still not be enough. That is definitely actually not enough, according to me. Here's the deal with Rockstar. Rockstar is making absolute bags on GTA V. I mean, literally billions of dollars. It's the highest second selling video game of all time, and their microtransaction shark cards are just flying off the shelves. So yes, it does make sense that the majority of their team is focused on updating the multiplayer GTA V. But Red Dead still has so much left it could become. He's got heart. It's also the 12th highest selling game of all time. It sold 37 million copies. That's not anything to scoff at. That's more than The Witcher 3. That's more than Last of Us. That's more than Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That's more than fucking Skyrim. I know the cowboy setting isn't for everybody, but the world, the graphics, the gameplay systems, the potential is there for Red Dead and it's just waiting to be tapped into. And I wanna shine a light on the potential of this game, by how they could fix the game and what they could add. By the way, some people might not agree with everything that I'm about to say, but that's okay because I would rather have my experience look less like this and more like this. Number one thing to change, obviously we've said it before, timer-based rewards. Don't reward me for sitting on my ass. Put more money on dead bodies. Cut the food and energy bars, besides Deadeye. I hate having to keep up with the food in the game. I'm always buying beans and all this kind of stuff. It's just like, cut those and keep the energy bar because I think it's cool to smoke and drink, to fill those back up. Let's talk about currencies, roll tokens. Unnecessary, cut it out of the game. Same with Capitale, cut it out. Just made the crime missions have gold and cash rewards. Add more fast travel posts and lower the cost. The daily, oh, I bit my tongue. The daily stable cost, cut it out. Why is that even a thing? My horse poops too much. The Mauer pistol is $600. Change it. Get working physics for the poncho and longer coats. Even if it's just me that gets to see it. Fill up New Austin with things other than foliage, cactuses, and dirt. Make hideouts worthwhile and something that you couldn't resist pulling over for. Give us more money and maybe there's a cool random factor like you can get a gold bar if you check the right chest. This is something I haven't touched on. Random events in the game. In single player, some of the most memorable experiences were the random events that could happen just while riding down the road. And Red Dead Online has those, but they're like way less unique and they're almost the same mission every time I feel like and there's almost zero benefit. It takes like 15 minutes and the payout is four dollars. Who in God's name is gonna do that? Make it at least twenty dollars. You're spending 15 minutes helping out the stranger. Now here's some stuff that they could add and this there is so much Red Dead Online could add. Make train robberies a thing. There's currently no incentive to rob a train. And whenever you're on it, there's no one there to stop you. Fill it up with NPCs and have like a chest on it that has some treasure in it. You can do the same thing to riverboat casinos. And then definitely let us be able to rob banks and other storefronts. Ah, first visit here, I believe, sir. We should be rootin' tootin' bandits. Robbing, dealing death all the time. Not hanging out with Crips, eating freaking baked beans all day. I wouldn't mind skipping this. Add more hats. That actually looked normal and not weird as shit, please. Everybody on your Reddit is asking for properties. I personally don't really care about the properties because I'll probably never be at them, but I think it is still a cool idea where you could have farmhouses and maybe like be a cattle rancher and take care of cattle and make money off of your property. By the way, Red Dead's community is one strong, <laughs> but they are hilarious as shit too. Add a Guarma section of the map, add a Northern snow town. And of course on a grander scale, how cool would it be if they added Undead Nightmare 2? That was the most legendary DLC of all time. I would love this game full of cowboys, zombies, and crazy people in this chock full of detail giant world. Or shake it up and maybe we do something different this time, like cowboys versus aliens. There's already a ton of lore about aliens in the game. I think zombies would still be cooler in my opinion, but, but an expansion like that could breathe entire new life into the game. I, 
I don't get why like big studios like this, they made this giant world and they're just gonna like, what, abandon it after it's finished? Like, why don't you just make another universe out of it? Like Spider-Man, they just made an entire new Spider-Man game that was pretty much based off of the first one. Like, could we not have a Red Dead universe that's just Undead Nightmare or Cowboys and Aliens? Like, all the assets are there, use them. I just hate getting stringed along with these half-ass updates that either don't change much or make things much worse. I just wanna grab the Rockstar execs and be like, can you just make the game better? And maybe just because People care about your video game and they don't want to see it die. There's a running joke in the community of Red Dead Online about how the developers look at them, which is, we're more ghosts than people. We really are, we're friggin' ignored. Every other weekend, GTA gets a new flying car update. So ridiculous. Money, 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 money. We, we can't keep doing this, Bob. Give some attention to your best title. But no, Rockstar is busy re-releasing every Grand Theft Auto they've ever made. Yeah, that's what we want. Zero attention to your best title and no news of Grand Theft Auto 6. Cool. I still believe not only could Red Dead Online be good, I violently believe it could be the best multiplayer game out there, period. Thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, make sure to leave a like, uh, it really helps out the channel growing right now, and uh, subscribe if you guys wanna see some more. Sorry this video took a second to make, it was definitely longer. Shout out to Tony Strong Style. I watched a ton of his videos to research this game. Thank you to the Red Dead Online community, they also super helped with this. And shout out to Seth Lane. This is a YouTuber that just made a video about my channel, it made me feel good, it was encouraging. So go check out his channel and his video. Thank you if you watched the whole video. I'm gonna go play some Halo because that just got released, and then Battlefield 2042 is the next day after. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Adios.